Hey, what's up? It's a Fit Gear Hunter. You can see I've got the backdrop all finalized. So that project's complete. I've got to find another project to do. A uh, little new additions up top. Not really a whole lot changed on the little shelving thing, but all that's done. And what we're going to do today is when the first Phoenix 7 Pro series came out and I tested the heart rate sensor, the new Elevate 5.0, it was clear that it was de definitively more accurate than the Elevate 4.0 that was on the original Phoenix 7X line of watches. And it made me start to wonder, so, you know, the, the Elevate on the seven original 7 Series line of watches was good, but not great, but the new Elevate 5.0 was great, especially when doing high intensity interval training or CrossFit training. So it made me really question and wonder, especially because there's such a big gap in price now with the sales on the original 7 Series versus the new Pro Series. It made me wonder, well, does this flow through to the wellness analysis or the results, like the numerical results that might give you guidance on how recovered you are and how good your sleep was and your body battery rejuvenation throughout the day. So for the over the last two weeks or more than two weeks, I've been testing the 7X Pro versus the 7X Original, keeping the 7X Original disconnected from the phone so that I could evaluate, are they going to give different results? Because one has a newer heart rate sensor and both of them rely on the heart rate sensor for analytical analysis or recommendations for each of those areas. So this would apply to any of the Phoenix 7 Series line of watches, the 7 Series line of watches, whether it's the 7X, the 7, or the 7S, whether it's the Pro or the non-Pro, all of them provide the same analytical value. Additionally, tomorrow I'm going to release a video on what are the real-world differences or economic value differences between the 7 Series Original and the 7 Series Pro because this also sheds light on it. So we're going to look at a number of charts across 17 different days for the heart rate variability heart rate variability nightly, the average that came from that, the body battery rejuvenation nightly and throughout the day as it sort of summarizes, the sleep score and the training readiness score. Additionally, I just thought it'd be fun to sort of compare if there's any net differences in the workout analysis. We know the Pro Series has a better heart rate sensor. So, and with both of them, you should wear a chest strap, but you definitely should wear a chest strap if you're doing high intensity interval training or CrossFit or something strenuous like that with the original 7 Series. But what if we have a chest strap connected to both of them? Are there any numerical value differences between the two? So we're going to look at that second. But first, we're going to look at the wellness, recovery, sleep, body battery, all of those stats across 17 days, looking at what variety of differences, if there are any between the two watches. Let's dive in. All right, so here you have the nightly HRV, your heart rate variability. This is just a single snapshot of the last night's heart rate variability across you know, the average across just that one night. You can see the Phoenix 7X Pro in blue and the Phoenix 7X Original in orange. You can see there's only a minor variety of nights that had any kind of even visibly detectable difference in data. So all this just means you know, is a primary metric as HRV is a primary metric and the nightly measurement determines the averages, which goes into any recommendations, they are completely lined up for the most part, other than what, you know a couple nights where there was like a four point difference or something like that. So of course the nightly averages are going to match up. So I'm not sure why there's you know a one point difference in some of these nights, but there's about a one point difference. There's only one point in time when there was a two point difference, but otherwise they're within one point of each other. So it's again, it's going to be consistent with a general recommendation which is going to flow through to the other metrics body battery nearly perfect alignment i was more surprised by this because the heart rate variability measurements are being taken all day which is assessed or calculated into a stress score which correlates to your body battery so how much stress and how much workouts and how lack of sleep has depleted you or you know how much quality sleep has rejuvenated you and they are just on top of each other so that's super positive positive. and then the sleep score itself you know, so the sleep score is going to be a culmination of a multiple of different factors, but even just that the multiple of factors that are all gleaning measurements from the same heart rate sensors on each, either device are coming in relatively lined up. There was only like one night or I guess two nights where there was more than like a five point difference. And I can't explain that, but 
towards the back half, they were just basically the lines were on top of each other, which just shows that a culmination of multiple data points taken from two different sensors using the same algorithms producing the same exact results. And then same thing on training readiness. Again, you can see that sort of bigger gap in difference. So I guess there were two points in time where there was a bigger gap in difference and maybe the HRV, uh, the heart, you know, the heart variability, the body battery, which flowed through to the sleep. And now we see it in the training readiness, but you see major overlap towards the back half. So all in all, the sensors aren't affecting anything with the basic output, which would flow through to directionable or actionable information for your day. Okay, so now we're just going to quickly look at the workout results. When they're both getting the same heart rate measurements from a chest strap, are there going to be any differences between the new Pro Series and the new in the original series? Let's look at the chart. All right, so now for the workout charts, you know, again, these are connected to the exact same chest strap, and I believe they both, both the, they, they should have the same heart rate maximum as well as the same heart rate zones. You can see aerobic training effect is basically one on top of each other. The anaerobic training effect it is a little bit, looks like a more disturbed graph or a little more disturbed differences. I'm not sure why that is. Um, it doesn't have any real analytical value when it comes to recommendations from a training status standpoint. But either way, you can see that that's the only area so far that's of any significant difference. The actual training load assessed, like the overall exertion score, which would flow through to your acute training load, which would flow eventually through your chronic training load, determine a lot about like what trends you're on that's exactly the same as well as the seven day acute training load is i mean it's almost exactly the same you can barely see the phoenix 7 pro underneath the phoenix 7x original and then the recovery time so only one one minor difference and everything else was just complete overlap exact same numbers so again across all of them the workout analytics are almost exactly the same if you are getting the same heart rate data information in. So you got to use a chest strap if you are on an older, uh, the older Phoenix 7 series. All right, and there you have it. So when you look primarily at the wellness and recovery and sleep analytics that are coming off both watches, they are definitely within line with each other. So there might be some nuanced differences on a single night of data that isn't that statistically different when it comes to what you might take away from it, like a 48 on a body battery versus a 52 or a you know, training readiness of 34 versus 31, it's not going to change probably how you're going to approach things other than more broadly giving you direction. So I'm going to do a full updated, more in-depth comparison review of the Garmin Phoenix 7X Pro versus the Garmin Phoenix 7X Original. Now taking all this information, so that'll come out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. But for now, we can see that the data, like the actual wellness analysis is not that different or i would say the wellness and recovery and sleep analysis is not different between the new sensor on the phoenix 7x pro and the original that you would just have for at a much cheaper price point than today's you know going rate on the market so with that it's a figure hunter thanks so much for watching